In the southernmost part of North Texas, nestled between Valverde and Mason counties, is the small town of Alacrity. It is an area known as Tumbleweed Country, and it is aptly named, for there are no people in Alacrity, only brown, circular weeds, all of which are quick to tumble. that is, except for one. The first ever tumbleweed was discovered in alacrity by J. Herbert Tumble in 1807. While halfway through a two-year-long expedition, to procure high-quality silks and spices for a silk and spice store he was planning to open back in his hometown of New Hampshireville, Kentucky. Tumble dedicated hundreds of pages in his journal to a bewitching phenomenon he described as dry brush pulled across the plains as if by magic twine. When he returned to New Hampshireville, Word of his discovery quickly spread. And after conferring with area botanists and a popular local dance troupe, the name Tumbleweed was decided upon and agreed to by all parties involved. Far less mystical now, it is widely understood that tumbleweeds grow out of the arms of tall cactus plants that have been specially fertilized by the tiny pollinated feet of a rare phylum of butterfly. Once fully ripened, they drop to the ground where they instinctively begin to roll and tumble. The North American Journal of Windblown Articles stipulates that the tumbleweed has but one requisite trait, that it continue to tumble regardless of motive or circumstance. The method or manner of tumbling is unimportant so long as the tumbleweed's progress remains forward and uninterrupted. For according to the journal, a tumbleweed that does not tumble is merely a weed. And as everyone knows, the weed is by far the most despicable of all the good lord's vegetation. The one apparent exception this tumbleweed here has lately drawn the ire of the tumbleweed community. The others wonder what makes him so special that he can be still while they work hard all day to remain in constant motion. He is viewed as a dissident and is mocked regularly and called many humiliating names, including bumbleweed and stationary weed, and sometimes most hurtfully, dickweed. But if only those others knew that this poor tumbleweed was not so unlike them, that he too had been born from the arm of a cactus plant, that he, like they, had a family tree that dated all the way back to the time of J. Herbert Tumble. If any of them would stop tumbling for just one second and take the time to look at him closely, they would realize that he is in fact tumbling, just as they are in a perpetual state of motion, though at a much slower speed. In 75 years, this tumbleweed will finally reach the county line. And he plans on crossing it when he gets there. Because from there, outside of Alacrity, North Texas, he knows that the possibilities truly are endless.
He'll drift north through salt brush and soak weed, wheeling past mountains and creek beds and weathered gravestones, up through Canada, beyond the fishing boats of Alaska and a thousand snow-crusted lakes. And like any dreamer, he'll continue to believe as he goes without proof or assurance that these places he has imagined really do exist. And while he knows not where they lie or what secrets await him when he gets there, he will seek them always, moving forward each day in the smallest of bits.